Episode 13 Breakout With Yeager, Sonara, and CB23 captured in the First Order now on Furkana, Kaz and Noraf try and figure out a plan to break them out. The two Resistance agents go with Kaz's plan of using Stormtrooper uniforms as a disguise to get in undetected, as Kaz is confident the plan will work once again as it did before on the Colossus. Back at the spaceport, Agent Tyranny interrogates and tortures Yeager and Sonara in an attempt at gaining any information on the whereabouts of the Colossus. But of course, the two refuse to talk. Meanwhile, Axe Tagrin finds the crew's transport along with the coordinates for where the Colossus is hiding out. This in turn forces Doza's hand in jumping out of the system, knowing he'd rather leave a few of his people behind than risk the entire station to the First Order. Back on Varkana, using their Stormtrooper disguises, Kaz and Noraf break Yeager and Snara out and manage to escape to their transport without alerting the First Order. However, they find Tagrin hiding in the transport and a brief scuffle between the two ensues. Thanks to CB-23's help, the crew defeat Tagrin again and escape the planet, but soon find themselves facing a First Order Star Destroyer. Fortunately for them, the Aces and the Colossus itself arrive to help them out, taking out a bunch of TIE Fighters in the process and allowing everyone to escape just in the nick of time. Now this was a great episode. I clearly wasn't a fan of last week's episode and found it very so-so. I think I was in the minority again as most people liked it, but yeah, it just wasn't for me. However, this episode totally made up for it and was a fantastic end to our first two-parter of the season. We got plenty of tense moments, Kaz and Noraf trying to hatch a plan and seeing it through, Yeager, Sonara, and CB23 getting tortured, interrogated, then the breakout, the entire encounter with Tagrin, and of course the ending with the aces was great fun. There's no getting around it, there was a lot happening in this episode, and I can see why they wanted to make this story a two-parter. Get the less interesting parts out of the way in the first episode and then have all the good stuff in the second episode. This also allowed for great pacing, as we didn't need explaining on why they're on the planet, who Noraf is, what's Tagrin's deal, and all of this, and so on. It all flowed real well and made for a pleasant viewing experience. Yeah, I had my gripes of Tagrin in the last episode, but even though he didn't have much screen time here, I don't know, he felt so much more of a threat in this one. He caused the crew more trouble when facing them, and used his Bounty Hunter gadgets accordingly, both in the fighting and even out when doing his detective work earlier in the story, which made him a very interesting part of the episode. Of course, my favorite part had to be the ending, where we're led to believe at first that the Colossus abandoned Kaz and the crew on Varkana, but then out of nowhere the Aces show up and wreck shop. To add to that, the Colossus also jumps back from hyperspace in front of squadrons of TIE Fighters forcing a lot of them to smash right into it. Very similar to how the Rebel ship smashed into Vader's Star Destroyer in Rogue One. It was a nice touch and just a real cool moment that I didn't think I'd see again in Star Wars. Overall, Episode 13 was a great watch. If you found the previous episode entertaining, then this one will definitely thrill you. Interrogation, torture, espionage, breakouts, and epic rescues. Whatever you want, this episode had it. A real strong way to end the year for the show. But that was my take on this episode of Star Wars Resistance. Let me know what you all thought about it in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.